Hey, it's Nick here, and you're on the Transparent FX Academy. I'm a top potter on TradingView, and it's time to make another full market breakdown to see exactly what kind of opportunities we can be looking for on the period that we will be analyzing both from a technical and an order flow perspective. So without further ado, let's jump onto the charts. Okay, so today we will be speaking about gold. And the reason for which I want to speak about gold is because the market has just reacted exactly as we wanted to see from our previous analysis on it. So now the price action and the patterns have changed. So it's time to make an update to see where we can be looking for the next potential opportunity on it. It's definitely time for an update. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. As usual, I will keep it as educational as possible. So first, I will be speaking about the technical aspect of this market. We will then go and see what we have from an order flow perspective. So what hedge funds are doing by checking the commitment of traders, so the non-commercials in the market, which are basically the big speculators. And by the end of the video, we will know where we can be looking for the highest probabilities on gold by using the combination of our technicals and our order flow analysis. Now, starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that the market has just provided a nice impulse to the upside followed by this correction. Now, generally speaking, after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, what you have to do is take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse. And if we take our Fibonacci from the low to the high of this impulse, what we can see is that the market at the moment has, first of all, touched exactly the 50% of the Fibonacci taken on the impulse lag, and currently the market is testing the 0.382. Now, you might be arguing, okay, but this candle at the moment is below the 0.382. And that is true. However, this candle still has 18 days and 10 hours to go before it will actually close, which means that this candle can still easily close back above the 0.382. All the body that you currently see here below the 0.382 can easily become a wick. And basically, all this move here was simply a retest of the 0.382 of the Fibonacci taken on the monthly impulse. So at the moment, what it seems is that the market here is testing the Fibonacci levels one by one, and we can expect the market to create a nice move to the upside, basically to complete this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the upside. So here on the monthly, everything looks quite bullish. Let's go down on the weekly time frame and see what we have from a weekly perspective. Now here on the weekly, we can see that the market has just created a nice impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside. Now what we can see is that the market stopped exactly at this level. Now if you're asking yourself, why has the market stopped exactly at this level? Well, the answer is pretty simple. In all this impulse to the upside, there is only one candle which is not related to the move, which is exactly this red candle here, meaning that this red candle is actually a strong supply zone which the market had created here, which now is obviously acting as supply and resistance. And in fact, that is exactly the level that the market is currently rejecting to the downside here on gold. So here on the weekly, we simply have previous support, turn resistance, which the market has tested and it is currently rejecting to the downside. Another quite important thing to notice here is that the market has just created a nice impulse, as we have already said. And after an impulse, if you want to measure the correction, what you have to do is take your Fibonacci from the high to the low of the impulse. And if we take our Fibonacci from the high to the low, what we can see is that the market has retraced exactly to the 0.382 of the Fibonacci taken on this impulse, which is in fact exactly what you usually expect in this kind of situations, because this is a confluence of resistance given by the previous support, turn resistance with the 0.382 of the Fibonacci taken on this impulse. So basically a confluence of resistance area, which you expect the market to test and reject to the downside, which is in fact exactly what the market did. Going down on the daily time frame, what do we currently have here on gold? 
Now here on the daily, I had spoken about gold quite a few times in the past. I spoke about gold after the market had created this move to the upside. I spoke about gold when it was here, explaining all the reasons for which from here we expected the market to create this move to the downside. And in fact, that is exactly what the market did. Then again, I spoke about gold after the creation of this head and shoulders when the market was here. I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which from here we expected the market to create this move to the downside. And again, that is exactly what the market did. Then we had the creation of this W formation and when the market was at this level, I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which from here we expected the market to create this move to the downside and again, that is exactly what the market did. Then we had the creation of this W formation and when the market was here, I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which we expected the market to create this move to the downside and again, that is exactly what the market did. Then we had the creation of this overextended W formation and when the market was here, I made another breakdown explaining all the reasons for which from here, we expected the market to create this move to the downside and again, that is exactly what the market did. Then the market created this massive move to the downside and when the market was here, I made a full breakdown explaining all the reasons for which we expected the market to create a nice move to the upside to go and retrace at least to the 0.382 and the market actually retraced to the 50% of the Fibonacci taken on this impulse. I had also spoken about gold when the market was here, explaining all the reasons for which, if the market here from a 4 hour perspective would have shifted back to a bullish market, we could be looking for the continuation to the upside, but everything remained bearish all the time, and so it was impossible to be looking for any kind of continuation. In fact, we didn't even add it on our watch list. And with the very last breakdown, I spoke about gold after this M pattern, explaining all the reasons for which from here, we wanted to see the market create this move to the upside. And in fact, that is exactly what the market is currently doing. And we are currently capitalizing on this move with students with a day trade to the upside. At the moment, we are risk free on the trade. If the market will hit the neckline, it will be a nice winner. Or if the market will break back down, it will simply be a break even trade. And by the way, I will link in description all this previous analysis. You find all this previous analysis linked in description so you can go and check it out for further reference and more free education. Hey, just a quick thing. Make sure you comment below and you let me know which pairs or topics you would like me to analyze or cover in the next videos. Now, at the moment, what do we have and how we can be looking for the next potential opportunity here on gold? Now, at the moment, as we have already said on the daily, we had the creation of an M pattern and we still expect this M pattern to actually complete at this previous support, which is now term resistance. So by definition, this is a, an area of previous support term resistance, which is the neckline of the M formation itself. So this is the decision area for this market. Will the market actually respect the 0.382 that we have already spoken about on the monthly time frame, or Will the market from here reject the zone to the downside, creating a lower low and completing this impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside? Well, before we answer that, let's first go and see what we have from a COT perspective. So commitment of traders, which is what hedge funds are currently doing in the market. Now, what we can see with the last reports is that overall net positions have been decreasing. We went from having 279k net positions all the way down to having 257k net positions with 1.2k shorts added with the last report and 820 longs added as well. In the previous report, we actually had 4.8k shorts getting closed with 6k longs getting opened. So overall, we can see that actually in the short term, net positions have slightly increased, but overall the decrease is quite clear to see it. In fact, we're currently sitting with 314k long positions decrease from 349 and 57.2k shorts from an institutional perspective. Slightly increase from 55, but overall we, will, we were sitting at 66, which is now 57. So overall, what we're seeing here is not too clear of a scenario. We don't see some clear buying and some clear, uh, for example, some clear opening of longs and closing of shorts. We currently don't see this. And basically, this is exactly what usually happens when a market is in a correction. When you have an impulse, such a strong impulse and the market starts the correction, this is simply profit taking from an institutional perspective. And in fact, we can see the massive amount of lungs that got closed here. This is just profit taking. And we still don't see some more position building for a massive move to the upside, at least yet, which means that at the moment we can still expect a deeper correction from a monthly perspective. So the way in which we will be approaching this with students is as usual being reactive and not predictive. If the market will reach this area here, 
then inside of here, this is exactly where we will be looking for a potential opportunity. Inside of here, as usual, we will be reactive and not productive and very cautious. So what we will be doing is monitoring price action from a four hour perspective inside of this area. Now, why four hours? Because the monthly, weekly and daily time frames are the best time frames for the direction of the market combined with the COT data. But when it comes to confirmations and entries, the best time frame is the four hour. So inside of here, we will be monitoring price action from a four hour perspective waiting for the market to shift from a four hour bullish market as we have right now to a four hour bearish market. And as soon as the market will shift from a four hour bullish to a four hour bearish market at that point, we will be adding gold to our watch list. And as soon as the market will provide to us one of our valid entries, we will be taking a nice short with a very good risk to reward and very good probabilities at that point for the move to the downside and for the market to provide a nice impulse correction and impulse pattern to the downside. However, if everything will remain bullish here from a four hour perspective, the market will easily break above this structure. And obviously we will not be interested in the short anymore. And we will simply be reevaluating the situation that we currently have on gold, because remember that overall on the monthly, everything is still bullish. Therefore, we have to be really, we really have to see clear bearish price action from a four hour perspective inside of this area. Otherwise, the market can easily continue to the upside. In fact, that is exactly what we will be looking for with students waiting for one of our valid entries. If you made it this far in the video, it would be great if you could smash that like button and comment below. It really does support the channel and support the creation of more free education and analysis for all of you. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. I have a full mentorship program that will teach you exactly the rules of my rule based strategies and also give you every single day a new market breakdown in which I show you exactly how to apply the strategies with entries, stops and take profits, as well as answering every question that you have every single day, including the weekends. So it's a very complete program. It will teach you everything that you need to trade the market consistently. So I will see you in it. The link is in the description or I will see you in the next video.